to at home, happy National Sunglasses Day. Yes. It's today. But in all seriousness, because of the holiday, we thought it was a good time to do a little fact or fiction when it comes to making sure your eyes are properly protected from the harsh effects of the sun. Dr. Annie Negrin is an ophthalmologist and joins us this morning. Nice to have you with us. Thank you for having me. It's so great to be here. Let's clear up first of all, because we love the fashion accessory part of the sunglasses. Yes. But what is the real reason behind needing to protect our eyes from the sun? Well, sun exposure in the eyes leads to a whole host of problems from serious to just a little pain. Painful. And most people don't realize the sun is just as bad for your eyes as it is for your skin. Wow. So you can get a sunburn in your eyes. Did you realize no, that? No, I had no idea. And it's just as painful as a sunburn on your skin. Okay, so we know we need to protect them. Now we're going to do a little true or false mm -hmm. so you can test our knowledge on this. All right. First of all, true or false, can we test those labels that give us the UVA and the UVA protection? Can we trust them? Absolutely. When you are in a reputable store, and that could just be your local drugstore, um, Target has some great brands, and you're looking for the label that says 100% UVA, UVB, or 400 NM. Mm -hmm. And there's a couple of examples of those here today. And the point is, you don't have to spend a lot on sunglasses. I got a couple of wonderful brands today that protect you just as much as the high price point in a specialty line. So store. as long as you see that, so that must be a regulated stick for them, for them to be allowed to put it on there. Exactly. So that's good. We can trust them. Exactly. Next one, true or false? kids should wear sunglasses. This is so true. We now know that most of the damage to our eyes is done by the time we're in our 20s. Wow. So kids represent a unique chance to protect their eyes while they're young. Now it's not easy to get kids to wear sunglasses. <laughs> if you're like me, I'm chasing around the kids in the playground. Wear your sunglasses, wear your sunglasses. It should become sunblock on them, get them a pair of sunglasses that they like, that they want to wear. And it should be fun for kids that are really young, like toddlers and babies. They have straps so that they don't lose them as often. Which are great. And they cut a lot of them with the straps attached so you don't exactly. have to worry about them falling off. Exactly. And you may want to just, the parent tip, buy two pairs if they really like oh. them. It'll make your life easier in the end. Absolutely. What about polarized? Is that, if a lens is polarized, does it mean your eyes are more protected? No. Polarization has nothing to do with protecting your eyes. This is a big misconception out there that people don't realize. Polarization is about anti-glare. Mm. So if you're out on the water or skiing, the reflection from the snow or from different surfaces can be annoying. Polarization has nothing to do with UV blocking. Okay, and then lastly, cloudy day. It's a little overcast today. It's very overcast. Do you still need sunglasses? Absolutely. If it's cloudy, if it's raining, if it's a freezing December day, if it's daytime, the sun's UV rays can get into your eyes. And a lot of people think early morning, late afternoon, the sun's not as strong, yeah. right? That's actually when the sun's position is lower in the sky and gets more directly into our eyes. So those early morning or late afternoon strolls is when it's most important to wear your sunglasses. We don't have the eyebrow ridge when the sun comes from on top to protect us. It's actually lower in the sky. A lot of people don't realize no, that. No, you would think at noon, because the sun feels so much stronger, that it would be stronger Ex on your eyes. Exactly, and it's worse for your skin at noon. Exactly. I love these all great tips. Yep, Dr. Really nice to have you with us Thanks this morning. Thanks for Thank having you. me. Can you leave me the Hello Kitties? Absolutely. You can, my dress. I'll ask my daughter. Perfect. Thank you. <laughs> Jimmy Fallon is recovering this morning after a rather strange injury involving his wedding ring and the 